Oh, Gita, it's very nice of you to come to my house. I really need your help in understanding many important things about the internet. Sure, uncle. I am here to help and guide you. You see, Gita, I face a very difficult time when I have to go somewhere by train. Like, I frequently visit the city to know about the current price of crops. For this, I have to travel long distances to the city railway station and then wait in long queues for hours to buy the ticket. And then again, I have to wait at the government office for long, hectic hours to know the price of crops. Oh, uncle, is that your problem? It's not that complicated. You can actually use the internet to book your train tickets and also find out the price of crops at the same time. Is that possible? Please show me how I can do that. Okay, let me show you how you can find the price of crops and also how to book railway tickets from home itself. Gita, it's so great that I can use the internet to know the price of crops sitting right at home. Definitely, uncle. This is one place where the internet can be of great help to India's farmers. Really? Please show me how I can use the internet for my benefit. Of course, uncle. First, let me tell you how India's Agricultural Ministry is using the internet to reach out to farmers. You see that 70% of India's population live in rural areas and depend on agriculture and allied activities. Due to the importance of the agriculture sector, Department of Agriculture and Cooperation, Ministry of Agriculture, Government of India collects and maintains agricultural statistics regularly and makes it accessible to the stakeholders through the portal www.agmarknet.nic.in Through this portal, farmers can get nationwide market information for wholesale produce. With the help of a simple internet connection, they can easily find out the daily market prices for various produce and take informed decision on buying and selling. The information can be accessed in local languages like Hindi, English, Punjabi, Telugu, Tamil and other Indian languages. Besides information on wholesale price update, you can get information on loans, policies and regulations related to agriculture sector. So, farmers can sell their produce in the nearest market at good prices. That's great news for me. Please show me how I can find the wholesale market price of rice in our state market from this site. Sure, just follow these steps. First, go to agmarknet web page www.agmarknet.nic.in If you want to check the price of rice in Uttar Pradesh, then click the link Data Wise Prices for Specified Commodity under the section Market Bulletins in the displayed page. When you click on the link, a new page will open. In this page, select the year and the month for which you would like to know the price of the crop. After that, you will find the option to select the name of the state. From the list, select the name of the state of which you need information. Here, we select Uttar Pradesh. On selecting the state, another box will appear in which you have to select the commodity. From the list of commodities, click on Rise. Once the commodity Rise is selected, click on the Submit button. Now, you will see a report of prices of rice in different agriculture markets of Uttar Pradesh for different dates of the chosen month. Can I also get information about all the commodities of markets from this site? If you want to know the price of all the commodities of markets, then in the Market Bulletin section, click on Market Wise, Commodity Wise Daily Report. On clicking the link, you will be taken to a page as shown. 
Select the date from the calendar. On selecting the date, a list of states will appear below it. From the list, select the name of the state. Here, Uttar Pradesh is selected. And then, click on the Submit button. A list of markets will appear on the screen. Check the boxes for which you want to know the price and click on the Submit button at the bottom of the list. If you want to select more than one state name, keep the control key pressed and click on the names of the states. Then, the website will display a detailed report of the markets you have selected. Now, let me see you try to get crop market price update in the state of Punjab for maize using this site. Sure, let me try it. Step 1. Open www.agmarknet.nic.in Step 2. In the website, click on Date Wise Prices for Specified Commodity. Step 3. Select Year, Month and State. Step 4. Select Commodity as Maze. Step 5. Click on Submit and the results will be displayed. That's great! Now that you have learned how to search for crop market price update, you may explore the other options available on the website. Nowadays, many websites are available from where one can know the real-time information about the current weather as well as the past data of the same. Some of the important websites are www.weatheronline.in and www.weatherforecastmap.com. In India, the India Meteorological Department, IMD, under Ministry of Earth Science, Government of India, is responsible for meteorological observations and weather forecasting. All the data are readily available on its website www.imd.gov.in. Really, how can I get the weather information from this site? Simple, just follow these steps. First, type the website name in the address bar. The screen will appear. If you want to visit Hindi version, then click on Hindi link displayed in the right side of the page. Here, various information that you can access are displayed at top and left side of the page. To know about weather, click on the India weather link and you will be directed to www.indiaweather.gov.in website. Now, Go to Departmental Websites tab and click on the city of your preference. You will be redirected to the relevant website. As an example, we will choose the state of Ahmedabad. Various services such as monsoon, local weather forecast, port and fisherman warning, weekly weather report are displayed on the left side of the page. Click on the relevant link to know more. To see information about statewide weather, click on State Forecast link and to download Weekly Weather Report, click on Weekly Weather Report button. Now, let me see you try to find the weather forecast of the Chennai by using this website for the next month. Yes, let me try it. Step 1. Open www.ind.gov.in Step 2. Click on India Weather Step 3. Click on Departmental Website and select Chennai Step 4. Click on Forecast and select the required options Similarly, you can search for more information by clicking the relevant link displayed in the home page. Do you know you can also get information on ocean and potential fishing zones from the internet? Really? How? 
visit the website of Indian National Centre for Ocean Information Services, an autonomous body under the Ministry of Earth Science, www.incois.gov.in. These are the steps for accessing the information. First, type www.incois.gov.in in the address bar. This screen will appear. To search for the potential fishing zone related information, go to Potential Fishing Zone under Advisory Services section. To search for the forecast for coastal areas, go to Ocean State Forecast under Advisory Services section. Oh, hi Rohan. What brought you here? Oh, Didi, I am so glad I have found you here. Didi, can I get information related to education from the internet? Sure, Rohan. Just visit this site and follow the steps. First, visit www.shiksha.com website. In the top of the page, various tabs are given. Go through them to find relevant information. In Home tab, search bar is given. Enter the institute name or course name about which you want to get more information. Also, options such as study in India and study abroad are given to find information related to various courses and institutes available in India and abroad. In MBA tab, information related to various MBA courses and institutes are given. You can view institute list offering specific course or accepting specific exam. In After 12th tab, information related to various courses that can be done after passing 12th standard are available. Click on the link to know more about the courses. Career Central tab provides information related to various fields and courses that you can opt for. You can also search for the top institute in various fields such as MBA, BE or BTech or LLB using Top Institutes tab. In the bottom of the home page, various links under sections such as Career Options, Test Preparation, Articles or Tools are given. Click on the relevant link to know more. Now, let me see you try to find architecture courses in Bangalore using the Siksha website. Sure, let me try. Step 1. Open http colon backslash backslash www.shiksha.com backslash. Step 2. Click on all courses and from the drop down menu Select Science and Engineering and then click on Architecture. Step 3. From the list of cities, select Bangalore and click on Proceed button. You will find the required information. There are many websites available nowadays which provide facilities for searching jobs and other career related information. Examples of such websites are www.employmentnews.com, www.nokri.com and www.timesjob.com. There are some websites which cater to only rural market like www.ruralnokri.com. Type www.employmentnews.com in the address bar of your web browser. In the home page, several sections with useful information and links will be displayed. Click on any of the link which is relevant to you to learn more about it. 
to see the result of examinations given and admission schedule in various colleges and universities, go to Admission and Result tab. To see various career related information, go to Career Links tab where links to important websites related to academics, aviation, banking, civil services, defense and engineering are given. To subscribe to Employment News or Rozgar Samachar, go to Subscription link located at top right corner of the home page and follow the necessary steps mentioned in the list. You can receive e-version of Employment News or Rozgar Samachar by visiting e-version tab and login using username and password. Now, let me see you find the latest jobs using the Employment News website. Yes, I am sure I can do it myself. Step 1. Open http colon backslash backslash www.employmentnews.gov.in backslash Step 2. Scroll down the home page to find information related to latest government jobs. Similarly, you can try other important features available in the website and can get relevant information. Let me show you how you can use the Nokri.com site. First, type www.nokri.com in the address bar. You can search for the desired job on the basis of designation, skills, location, job category and salary expectation. You can also use various methods of job search available at the bottom of the home page which is shown below. If you want search for recruiters, then go to search recruiters button. Use filter for more refined search. If you want to post your resume, go to post resume tab in the home page and fill in the required information in the resume page and upload your resume. If you want to log in or register, go to Job Seeker Login tab and log in. To use other features of the website such as resume writing, profile enhancement, recruiter reach or career advice, go to Fast Forward tab. To search various education related information, go to Learning tab. This section contains detailed information of various courses and colleges of India as well as abroad. To search for jobs through RuralNokri.com website. Step 1. Go to www.RuralNokri.com website. To receive information about job openings via email, register yourself using Employ Registration tab. If you have registered yourself, then log in using your username and password under Member Login section provided in the left side of the website. To see the details of recent job openings, go to Vacancies tab where designation, organization and location of the job will be mentioned. To access various features related to career or mock interview, Counseling and advertisement of the resume, go to Employees Services section provided in the right side of the website. Now, find computer operator jobs in Mumbai using the www.nokri.com website. Step 1. Open http colon backslash backslash www dot nokri dot com backslash step two in keyword field enter computer operator and in the location field enter mumbai step three click on search button you will get the desired results 
Now I am sure you will know how to search for information related to agriculture or employment through the internet. Click the correct option for each question. That's right. Well done. That's right. Well done. That's right. Well done. That's right. Well done. Gita, can we also pay our electricity or telephone bills through the internet? Sure, you can pay such bills through the internet. Let me show you how. Utility services such as electricity, telephone, water and gas are those which require an expensive setup for production and distribution. Many agencies across the world nowadays provide the facility of paperless billing and electronic payments. This has made life much easier as one can pay bills directly online whether at home or office. Some of the benefits of making electronic payments are saves travel time and long queues there is no chance of bills getting lost. Payments can be made right up to the due date. Payments can be made all 24 hours. Check bill amount before making any payments. Most of the electricity distribution companies have facilities of receiving online bill payment. For example, if you are living in Delhi, and BSES Rajdhani is supplying power to your house, then you can visit the BSES Rajdhani website to make the payment. Similarly, you can pay your electricity bill by logging in to your corresponding electricity distribution website. Some of the major electricity distribution companies in India are as follows. Let me show you how you can pay the electricity bill in BSES Delhi online. First, go to BSES Delhi website www.besdelhi.com Now, go to payment option and select debit card or credit card or net banking option to make an online payment. Read the instructions carefully and then click on Pay Now option. Now enter your CA number in the space provided. You can find your CA number in the top right corner of the hard copy of your electricity bill. Then click on the Go button. Now payment page will appear. Select the mode of payment like debit card or credit card. Once you select it, follow the payment process. Note, if you choose credit card option, you will have to enter your credit card details and complete the rest of the process. In case you are selecting net banking, then choose the bank from which you want to pay your bill. You will be taken to your net banking site where you have to input user ID and password to make payment. After successful payment is made, you will get a transaction reference number. The payment made by you will be credited in the account of BSES in 5 working days. Can we also recharge our mobile phones online, Didi? Yes, of course. To do that, just follow these steps 
to recharge your prepaid mobile phone. First, go to the Recharge It Now website. Now, click on Mobile option and then select Service Provider from the available options. After that, enter your mobile number and press Continue button. Now, select your plan type from the two options and then enter Recharge Amount and then press Continue button. Now, the information related to your mobile number will be displayed. Verify it and press one of the three available options. Press Continue as Guest option if you are registered user and do not want to register. Press Sign in button if you are registered user. Press Register button if you are not registered user but want to register yourself. If you press Continue as Guest button, then Adjacent screen will appear. Now, enter your information and then press Submit button. Now, select one of the payment options. After clicking on one of the options, a drop-down box of the list of banks will appear. Select the appropriate bank and then press Continue button. Now, payment summary will appear. Verify it and then press proceed button. Now, you will be redirected to payment gateway of the bank you have selected. Pay the required amount using your username and password. Rohan, now you yourself try to recharge your phone by using the www.rechargeitnow.com website. Sure, Didi. Step 1. Login to Recharge It Now website. Step 2. Select the service provider and enter details. Step 3. Select plan type, enter the recharge amount and press Continue button. Step 4. Select Continue as guest. Step 5. Enter your mobile details and select Payment option. Step 6. Select Appropriate Banks and pay the amount. Didi, how can we pay postpaid mobile phone bills? We can use the Paytm website to pay postpaid mobile phone bills. Just follow these steps. First, visit the Paytm website. Now, go to Bill Payments tab. After that, click on Mobile tab to make your postpaid mobile bill payment. Here, enter your mobile number, select your operator and enter bill amount. After that, click on the Proceed button. Now, your payment summary will be displayed. Click on Proceed to Pay button. Now, sign in to Paytm. If you are a new user, then create an account and then sign in using your email ID or mobile number and Paytm password. Now, make payment using one of the available options listed on the left side of the screen. Once you finish doing the payment, you have successfully recharged your mobile number. Can we also pay our cable TV bills from the internet, Gita? Yes, uncle, you can. Let me show you the steps to recharge DTH by using the Recharge It Now website. First, visit www.rechargeitnow.com website. Here, under Online Recharge section, three options will be displayed. To recharge your DTH, click on 
DTH button and then enter your service provider. Let's select Tata Sky as a service provider. Now enter your subscriber ID and then click on Continue button. Now Tata Sky plan table will appear. Enter the recharge amount to activate specific pack and then press Continue button. Now the information related to your DTH will be displayed. Verify it and press one of the three available options. Press Continue as Guest option if you are registered user and do not want to register. Press Sign in button if you are registered user. Press Register button if you are not registered user but want to register yourself. If you press continue as guest button then adjacent screen will appear. Now enter your information and then press submit button. Now select one of the payment options. After clicking on one of the options a drop down box of the list of banks will appear. Select the appropriate bank and then press Continue button. Now payment summary will appear. Verify it and then press Proceed button. Now you will be redirected to payment gateway of the bank you have selected. Pay the required amount using your debit card information. I am sure that now it will be easier for you to pay your bills online and also recharge your mobile phones and cable network. Of course, Didi, it is very helpful. Yes, Gita, this knowledge will surely save a lot of time for me. That's great. Now, let's take part in this activity to refresh ourselves. Click the correct option for each question. That's right. Well done. That's not right. Please try again. That's right. Well done. That's right. Well done. That's right. Well done. Gita, can you now show me how to book railway tickets online? Sure, Uncle. Now you don't have to wait for hours in queues to book your railway tickets. Online booking of train tickets can be done using IRCTC website. First, open a web browser and type www.irctc.co.in in the address bar. Enter your username and password in the space provided and log in. Note, if you are not the existing user, then go to sign up link and create your username and password. Once you log in, this page will appear. To book your train ticket, in the Plan My Travel section, click on the From drop-down option. Here, you need to type the source station name and in the to list, you need to type the name of the destination station. For example, if you want to travel from Bangalore to Chennai, you will type Bangalore in from list and Chennai in the to list. You can type the code of the station too in these sections. Now, choose the date of travel from the calendar given in the date section. Now, go to Ticket Type and choose one of the two options. The two options are E-Ticket and I-Ticket. 
e-ticket is a ticket which you will get as an electronic ticket or which you can take print out and travel. i-ticket is a physical ticket which will be delivered to you after few days of online booking. Now choose one of the options in quota field. Here the three options are general, tatkal and ladies. In general, anybody can travel. Tatkal ticket can be booked one day prior to departure of the train and the ladies quota is reserved for ladies. Now click on the find trains button. On clicking this link, list of trains will appear based on your requirement. Click on the specific class of trains in which you want to travel. It will give you train details and availability of tickets for six subsequent time. On clicking the book options, it will redirect you to the page wherein you are required to fill in the information of the passengers who want to travel. In one e-ticket, maximum six passengers can travel. Fill in the text in the box and then click on the next button. Now you will be able to see your reservation details. Check whether details displayed are as per your requirement or not. It also displays the availability quota and amount you have to pay including ticket fare and service charge. Now click on make payment option to pay the amount. Now make payment using one of the options displayed in the website. After clicking on specific mode of payment and specific bank, it will automatically migrate to the payment page of that bank. Now, after successful transaction, it will automatically redirect to the IRCTC website and your ticket will be booked. Take print out of ticket either in Hindi or English and keep it with you with any one valid photo identity proof while traveling.